Hashtag foodie beauty. Didn't she say Salah knew she was in Nader's live professing her love for him? Now she said that she did that behind his back and will never happen again. But then said never say never. You never. You can tell they don't communicate well. Their sense of humor are totally different. Oh. Yeah. I don't, I don't watch them, so... Like, I'm totally just indifferent and unbothered by, by what they say now. Like, literally. That's how you know you're just completely detached and the closure's there. And I'm so happy for it. I did my final flip out and I was like, you know what? I felt so bad for that because I did do it behind Salah's back. But none of that raw emotion was because I wanted him back gross no never I could never ever let that happen to myself again not after what I've learned but never say never people get in situations they never thought they would be it doesn't mean they're dumb you know but yeah inshallah I will be with uh married to Sala forever <laughs> hi guys <laughs> sorry for the motion sickness there hi welcome to a video that a lot of you have requested and i've been meaning to do it to show you our new home and so here it is we are in a one bedroom flat they call it flats here in canada we call it apartments but it's like a i guess the european influence so we have a one bedroom flat and it's cozy we have everything we need here we really are enjoying our time here so let me show you our setup everything is not perfect there's some things in the room we're going to keep private it's, it's a bedroom, right? So, but we will show you a bit of the bedroom. The bedroom is very large, probably the largest room in the apartment. So yeah. All right, let's get to, let's get to. This is the front door area, right? And here is Salah's gaming station. And this here is Al Sultan Salah's channel. If you're into gaming, please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. We have a diffuser here. Whenever I first arrived in Kuwait, um, I found the shape of it very different, but very cool. I have the router, webcam, and the laptop. A little owl that Salah got for me. Gaming chair. All right, we have a TV here with the fireplace on it. You know how I like to put that in the background. Something cozy about it, especially winter, even if it is Kuwait. We have our sofas here. A longer, bigger sofa here. That's the central air control. This was on the window when we got it, and it's kind of like a weird window to in between. It's outside, but it's like inside. So we don't really use it, because we always have the AC on. We have some candles here. I love candles. Salah's keyboard gets stored here in the coffee table. Thought I'd show you the snacks that we have. So we have company often enough, and we like to have some snacks for people when they come over. And these are just some snacks that we have laying around. Of course, yes, I sneak some here and there. Duh. I'll show you my favorite ones. These are chocolate croissant, cheese puffs. It has like a feta cheese inside with like a croissant. These are amazing. I've never tried these until now. They're called Pop Pop and they're like sweet corn flavor corn snacks. They're so good. Some Kinder Maltesers, Reese's, some Kinder Kit Kat, hazelnut chocolate. Help yourself, guys. There's also a roll under here of this plastic and it's used as kind of like a tablecloth, disposable tablecloth, I guess. Very custom here. You can eat on the ground with it. Uh, under this carpet, by the way, is um, ceramic tile. I don't know if it's marble or ceramic, but it's like glossy and hard. And <laughs> anyway, um, so we have a roll of those from the grocery store. You set it out, basically and put all the food on it and then whenever you're done you can like put chicken bones on it whatever and just wrap it up and put it right in the trash really awesome i'm gonna miss these up here we have the shisha supplies tea coals roast vanilla candle beside the lunch meat <laughs> some clean dishes this is the sink i like this thing it's so convenient i don't have one at home and i have a garbage bag under here uh, juicer, that's sugar, just some pastas and rices and things. And this is my Nescafe station. <laughs> These are mushrooms there right now, but they're just renting it. <laughs> they're, ju they're just renting a space in my Nescafe thing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is some bottled water in there. I'm going to have some Nescafe later. And some utensils. And the three-in-one I'm obsessed with. Yay. So here is the kitchen at a glance.
There's also a fan here, it does work. <laughs> there you go, pretty powerful. Hashtag. So now all her viewers are hillbillies. Isn't that shaming? Calling someone a hillbilly can be seen as a negative thing to some people. No, they don't because they haven't, they don't know a single thing, Zoe, about this culture. But they're the ones, these hillbillies sitting in God knows where, never left their backyard, criticizing an entire culture. Hashtag foodie baby. The manipulation is thick tonight. She said she was never a type of homebodied vlogger. Ma'am, you spent 24-7 live in your home and only went out to get food and substances. You lived at home. <laughs> no, I never was a home life type of lifestyle vlogger. I, but the thing is, like, I get envious of these people on social media whose lives are perfect. Sometimes I'm scrolling and I'm like, oh yeah, right, whatever, your couch is so white. You never fart on it? Give me a break. Hashtag foodie beauty admits the truth. She envies people who are proper, whose home is clean and tidy. That's the reason she rages at reaction channels. I get envious of these people on social media whose lives are perfect. Sometimes I'm scrolling and I'm like, oh yeah, right, whatever, your couch is so white. You never fart on it? Give me a break. You know, but then I, like, <laughs> I secretly wish I was like that, but then if I were to get like that, it's so boring and tedious. I could never focus on organization like that. I just, it's not me, you know? I can't do it, I'm sorry. But I, people who do, it's awesome. I guess I'll just watch it from a distance, I don't know. Hashtag foodie beauty projecting again, saying the world has no clue about the culture of Kuwait, but she's acting as if she was born and raised there. They don't, because they haven't, they don't know a single thing, Zoe, about this culture. But they're the ones, these hillbillies, sitting in God knows where, never left their backyard, criticizing an entire culture. Like... Hashtag foodie beauty said that being overweight is dangerous and she'll never argue over how bad and unhealthy it is. How she can flip her opinions and manipulate the viewers is unbelievable. Oh my god, I'll never argue that being fat's healthy. It's so dangerous, but if it were so easy to just do that, more people would do it, but you have to. You have to discipline yourself, you have to get the help you need, if you, you know, you have to change or you die, that's it. There's no ways around it, you know? So, but Sala doesn't like thin women, he's not attracted to thin women. He's not attract. He, he's, he wants me to be healthy, but he doesn't, he doesn't, want me to like lose all my weight he wants me he likes cur like chunky <laughs> you know and you could be chunky and still be pretty healthy you know so you know hashtag foodie beauty still blames mental health why she acts the way she does and rages saying she has depression if you haven't been medically diagnosed with any type of mental illness by a real doctor, you can't blame mental illness as a reason for your behavior. It just becomes an excuse. So, I think I'm going to keep comments off for now because I know it cuts into some of my views, but let's be real. I can't handle it right now. I want to cry. <clears throat> No matter how happy I am, I have to like remember that I do have mental health problems and particularly depression. So, but you know what? I don't want to toot my own horn, but I am proud of myself. The more I reflect, I did do a lot like to push myself outside of my comfort zone and it feels good. <laughs> She's always been, the mask is coming off now that she's Chantal's rage posts from today. A thread. If you don't get back home soon, your channel will tank. Most ridiculous comment I have heard today. So I am not allowed to live my life how I want? I'll go broke and have no one left before I submit my life to make others happy. Screw that noise. I get many people miss the old me. I don't. My life. If people leave, I guess I will have to rebuild a new audience. But I am not living my life to make others happy and neither should you. So you have a full-time job. <coughs> Bullshit.
But you are reacting to my content at 12.30? Laughing my ass off, let me guess. You are on a lunch break? You sound like stale garlic toast claiming he has a job, was going to work, and three hours later was caught on his second channel laughing my ass off. You can make fun of our apartment all you want, but come up then and show us your place. At the end of the day, you are seething with jealousy because you are so vile on the inside and resemble a frumpy middle-aged actor after years on the sauce who is about to drown in a sketchy hotel bathroom and don't have a man of your own. You would never have the balls to travel anywhere besides stalking my hometown and being delusional and acting that you are better than Cornwall peeps or to my fashion show. So it's ridiculous that you sit there behind your ugly ass avatar and criticize criticize others, especially me, when I have so much more going for me than you. And yes, that includes our small ass apartment in the Middle East. Where have you gone and what have you done this year besides obsess about my life? Stay mad, Randy Quaid wannabe. The nerve of this french fried turd to claim our marriage is not real when you have a whole ass imaginary boyfriend, desperate for content as usual. I see your dirty Dawson gets half the views and just a reminder again, your vlogs ain't shit. You are and always will be a loudmouth projecting from your smoky hole of misery. But where's your man Randy Quaid? The funny thing is, it's always a bigger lol cow who judges other supposed lol cows, which is a term made up by a bunch of fat phobic anti-Semites who make fun of others online, obsessively for free. Imagine what kind of pathetic life you have to have to be like that. Check out Hatter House for a perspective that is not from following the herd. Infertility shamers are disgusting humans if you can call them that. You can't eat your way to infertility. I used to believe, against the oncologist's advice, that I could cure myself of my ovarian cysts. Actually, when I started having cysts, I wasn't as overweight. I started having issues when I was way smaller. There are many, many factors contributing to an ovarian cyst, and thin women, even fitness freaks, get them too. Just because a woman is fat, people ignorantly assume any ailment is fat related when that is not always the case. I won't deny obesity is a killer, but what makes you all oncologists? You know nothing and sound ignorant as hell. Some of you doing the criticizing have children and you waste your time online bullying women who can't have children or bully other children directly. Ahem, yeah, but calling kids the R word. It's gross. What's even more funny is, at the time that I was trying holistic healing methods, people accused me of being insane and to listen to my doctor, so I did. Now people infertility shame me because they have no other content and claim I did this to myself. Anyway, if that is true and this is all my fault, I have an eating disorder which is not my fault and to shame others for an illness makes you a big fat asshole. Yes, this is a rage Christmas special for you rage pigs. Hashtag rage against bullying. She is wrong. Being overweight has an impact on hormones which impact your period and uterus. The size and type of cysts can be impacted by weight. Her cysts are not cancer, but like everything else, if left untreated, could become cancerous. She did it to herself. No pity. Okay, the food addiction and other mental health issues are not her fault. But what is her fault is refusing to get help. LMAO at Rage Pigs. Damn, she is pissed. Okay, but it is still your fault. You made no attempts to get treatment for your eating disorder. So stop shifting the blame with everything and starting being accountable, you self-absorbed friggin' pig. Those are really newlywed goals right there. She is happy, guys. I'm still not seeing this change she claims to have made. If anything, she's worse. Every single day, she's going off on everyone. I don't even try to follow her rages anymore. I came here to laugh, not to read. Lol, what's she so mad? What about not caring about what people think, Chantal? The old me? She's still the same bitch as she always has been. And her channel has been tanking for a while now. Clueless she is.